I think what we're most excited for going forward with the new Mirror's Edge title is probably the unique creative process we've adopted when designing the game. Because for a while it's been kind of a standard for developers to go to their core fan base for feedback. You know, the people who actually have played your game in full and can offer a wide breadth of constructive criticism. But this time, we went further. I would say that we here at DICE have successfully managed to revolutionize the entire game development process, circumnavigating around our core fan base, and instead drawing inspiration from those who've barely played video games at all. I would have to say that this entire change in philosophy is thanks to our amazing publisher, Electronic Arts, who was nice enough to hire pop culture critic Anita Sarkeesian to deliver a presentation at our studios. It completely blew us away. Not only were we given the privilege to hear what she personally wanted in the game, but also how to sell the game to people who aren't even gamers. And for those of you who are understandably skeptical about having her influence in the game, I can assure you of one thing. Anita Sarkeesian may not be a gamer, I think the most important change we've made to the core mechanics so far is probably the difficulty. Anita explained to us that hard games just don't reach as many people, and therefore, tragically, don't reach as many women. By making the first game somewhat difficult, we were oppressing so many players by forcing them to actually practice and learn from their mistakes. But now we realize, challenge is not what video games are all about. A lot of our fans may think that Mirror's Edge was already a gender-progressive franchise and didn't need Anita Sarkeesian's input to become supportive of female gamers. But 